Let's discuss a scary topic. Altering a chanter by carving the holes. You should know right off the bat that this is not something you should do without being sure you are doing the right thing. If you're not sure when you should do it or how, consult an expert because these alterations are irreversible except by using tape. It's not uncommon to have a note on a chanter that is very slightly flat, no matter what read or read make you put in the chanter. Before you conclude that the note is flat, you should have tried a large number of reads by a number of different makers. Blow reads in over time. Try them deeper in the read seat and be absolutely sure that the chanter is the problem, not the make of read you're playing or the fact that you haven't blown a read in enough. Alterations are most often needed on notes such as D, F, or high G. But C, E, high A, or low G might need it as well. Alterations are made by undercutting the top of the hole. In other words, we don't make the outside of the hole larger, at least not initially. We raise the pitch of the note by carving the upper ridge on the inside of the hole. This basically moves the top of the hole closer to the reed. This effectively shortens the column length, making that note sharper. Now, let's look at some of the tools that can be used. This is a riffler file that is inserted into the hole like this and worked side to side. This is a deburring tool that peels off wood on the inside as you cut in a clockwise direction. This is a very effective tool made by a machinist friend of mine from an artist's exacto knife. Both sides of the blade can be used to cut. And this is a Dremel tool with a carbon bit. It's very effective if you have a steady hand, but it can be easy to mess up with this. It's important to use the right tool. Very few piping suppliers carry these. Even sandpaper wrapped around a narrow rod will work. If you have an old chanter that's of no use, you might use it to practice on. Whatever tool you use, work in very small increments, undercutting just a sliver at a time. Play the chanter in your pipes again for a while before you do more. If you've undercut a hole as much as you can and the hole still isn't sharp enough, you might have to enlarge it. Always work on the top side of the hole. I can't stress this enough. Work with great care and be very patient as you undercut or enlarge the top side of the hole. Major alterations to a chanter are not all that common. Don't alter a chanter if you're not 95% sure that the chanter is the problem. Consult an expert. Ask someone who knows about your particular chanter type. Some chanter makes are known to have slightly flat notes. When in doubt and if you're not confident of what you are doing, send the chanter to an expert for such adjustments. One other important thing you should do regularly with your chanter, that is to clean out the tiny bore in the throat every once in a while. This space will collect dirt over time and this can cause it to shrink a bit. The tiniest amount of buildup can make the high G of your chanter very sharp. Run some kind of a little brush through this space once a year or so. Music stores carry these kinds of instrument brushes.